some problems a while back with my Polaris Sportsman XP850. Um, it the starter quit working and at the time I was in the bottom of a gulch had to figure out how to get out ended up uh, using jumper cables to get it started I went through everything checking see what could be the problem check the fuses and everything seemed okay checked all the relays everything seemed okay I um, finally using jumper cables we jumped the, the starter and um, it fired right up ran for a couple miles heading up out of this gulch and overheated and the fan wasn't running the radiator fan quit working so ended up we were on a three day trip and we just kept going I kept having to jump the starter all the time um, used a screwdriver went up under there and would jump between the positive terminal and the solenoid and it fire right up run fine I got home started working on it I went through the grounds um, thought it might be a ground issue ground from the battery it runs back to a block that's right up in here and it's just a big lug with uh, it's a, a bundle of ground wires that that connect to it and then the other ground goes to the engine it's up up in front it mounts on a lug to the engine so that it passes through this grounding block to the engine and I took apart all of those connections cleaned them up and got them tightened up real good and still no no help um, had a got a hold of electrical manual on it and they pointed out that there's a circuit breaker for the fan and starter solenoid that is not in this um, breaker box and I had a hard time finding it it's between the fuse box and the battery and I finally found a picture of it and I found out that it's this little thing it's a 10 amp circuit breaker that mounts right here it plugs in to the cable looks like the copper is on the top so it would plug in like this I found one on an auto part store that's 20 amp but I've heard that that will work but after that both the fan and the starter have never given me any trouble I I just pulled this out and plugged it back in and it worked everything worked again but I went ahead and got a spare replacement just in case I took this one step further I decided that I couldn't afford to you know even if you jump the starter if the fans not running um, you're gonna overheat a lot so I had these toggle switches that were already on this machine for light bars and I hadn't been using them so I set up one of them to be a fan switch I can manually run the fan and bypass the computer system so if that circuit breaker goes out again I can at least keep going and run the fan manually 
Anyway, that resolved the problem. If somebody else has a problem, I hope this helps.